Alright, hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up a Minecraft server. So what you're going to want to do first is go to your desktop or wherever you want to have a folder and make a new folder. I named my folder Kimbo. So your folder is empty. Now what you're going to want to do with that folder is you're actually going to want to go to the internet and you are want, going to want to go to Minecraft.net. Now you do have to own Minecraft in order to do this, so you will have to have uh, bought this. And you're going to go into Downloads, and you are going to download this right here, Minecraft Server That Jar. And you are going to save that. Now once you have that saved, you are going to go into your Downloads folder, like so, and you are going to open the folder that you made on your desktop. Once you've done that, you take your Minecraft folder server and you put it in here. After that, you're going to want to run the Minecraft server, just double click it, and let it load, and it'll create a bunch of folders in here. As you can see, now there are a whole bunch of servers in here. And now that you have these servers, or, you know, all these folders and stuff in here, you can wait for it to finish loading. Like so. And yeah, so then you're going to exit out. Because this is none of this is neat anymore. You can come in. You can add your Minecraft username to become an OP. Save that. You can come into the server, change some of the properties in here. So you can come in here. You can change if it if other people can join right now. You can change if monsters spawn. You can change if animals spawn. I usually set my max players to around 12 because my computer isn't the greatest. And you can turn off PVP. Uh, you can. I normally do, because I have some douchebag friends. Uh, <laughs> so, there you go. Now, there is another part, because you need to have an IP address for these people to join in. So, what you're going to do is you're going to come up here, back into your internet, and you are going to search Hamachi. Whoops. Hamachi. It's a very useful little program. So, you are going to go into this right here, and I'll have a link in the description. And you're going to download an unmanaged. Well, I already have unmanaged downloaded, so we don't need to worry about that. Once you have the unmanaged downloaded, just open up your Hamachi. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into Network, Create a New Network. And you're going to name it whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Blah. And uh, put in a password. And then create it. Whoops. Well, fine. <laughs> and just put in a password, blobberface, and create that. Now you have. <laughs> and basically, what it'll do is. Now, I already have this network, but if you created a new network and you didn't have any previous networks, it will give you a little IP address here. And. Then what you're going to do is, first of all, you're going to come in here, you're going to right click, you're going to go into set access, and you're going to turn off the password. You do not need a password. At all. Because uh, that'll just make it confusing. Basically what you're going to want to do is then you're going to want to open up your folder, and, whoops, wrong folder. You're going to want to open up your folder and run the Minecraft server again. Wait, no, no, you're not going to want to run it again. First you're going to want to go into server. And then you're going to put this IP into here. Now, I've already done that in my other Minecraft server. You may notice a lot of extra folders and stuff in my Minecraft server, and that is because I have installed some plugins and some mods to it. I'll have a different tutorial for video for that later. But basically, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come in here, and you're gonna go, going to come down to your server properties, and you're gonna come, going to come down to the server IP, wherever it may be hiding. But yeah, you go into your server IP. Sorry, there's just a lot more stuff here. You go into your server IP, and you change your server IP to this. Once it is at that, you can simply go into Minecraft. So just open up Minecraft. Log in, all that good stuff. Go into multiplayer and then type in this right here, your IP from Hamachi, into this. I already have it saved. 
And then once you get in... Oh, whoops. Well, it might help if you actually ran it. So you come in here, you go into your Minecraft server, and you run it. Now, I run this because of my mod. It's the same thing, only this is the command prompt instead of the actual uh, thing. So once you've ran your server, you can come back into Minecraft, and you can connect. And there you are, you're in your server. In your spawn area, all that good stuff. And now, in order for your friends to connect to your server, they are going to need to download Hamachi and go in here and do join existing network and type in your favorite dictator or whatever you named your network and they if you turn off password which I highly suggest they don't need it and they can join whatever I don't care I didn't put it in caps but yeah and then they'll be able to join and then once they've joined this network and they have it up they can just go into Minecraft and join this IP because they already have this up. So yeah, it's that simple. And I will have a tutorial out here soon to uh, show you how to install the Halo mod, which is the one I use in my Minecraft server. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope you had a great time learning how to make a Minecraft server. It's super quick, super easy, uh, super simple. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.